want to introduce Heat 4 round 1, Adriano de Souza, currently sitting in second place on the Jeep leaderboard, up against Kanoa Igarashi and Bino Lopez, who earns his place in the draw by way of an injury replacement, the ultimate call up event. As we go now to the lineup and see Adriano de Souza, the man in red, good backhand barrel riding form, takes that high line exit. And there's that very effective pin drop to get out of the wave. It's just so important to, to have a good read and, and have a bit of experience out here in this lineup. Let's get another look at his prowess in the barrel. You see that front leg just controlling that speed. Harlan out of the barrel. Let's just get to see the work done inside this barrel. It's so crucial to stay high on that little section. This was 3.83. Uh, this wave ridden during the break earlier on. Just uh, a quick pit. And he is out of there. But De Souza, an incredible backhand attack. He, he has a, a really nice drawn out bottom turn. It sets up a good vertical approach to the pocket. Adriano is such a fierce competitor. I would never, you know, not put him in the conversation of a world title. Well, here we go. Let's see what Bino could do out here at Cloudbreak. Not, not a lot of experience out here. But we've seen people come here in their first year and go on to great results. Thinking back to Italo Ferreira, the Brazilian, everyone was questioning whether he'd be able to get it done in, in yeah. solid surf. And well, you saw him in the first round, the first heat of the day. He went nuts. And uh, that was the same as his rookie effort here. Yeah, here we go, Bino. You can see he's elected to take a longer board out and just gets gobbled up. Yeah, it is so fun just seeing people you put low expectations on them and they blow down the doors. I mean, Italo was one of those surprise packages in his rookie year. And, and, and everyone knows who surfed out here, that's the case as well. So the, the really hard, thick waves are the ones that score higher up the scale because it, that was such a intense barrel. It wasn't the longest barrel of the heat by any means, but it was the thickest and the best looking barrel we saw for, the, for this morning. I made the, the point during that heat, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but cloud break seems to be one of those ways where you're less concerned if a surfer, like Owen Wright did, uh, uh, drives around that, that opening section. It seems like there's really good scor scoring opportunity at different parts of this wave, not necessarily just the takeoff. Yeah, this wave is, is a, that's part of the amazing aspect of this wave. There is sections all over the shop out there and all the waves that come in aren't the same. So it's a really tricky thing for the surfers to find. And that's the perfect example of competitors sitting up deep, uh, up top here on the ledge and someone down the line still seeing some major scoring opportunities and that wave looked like it had a pretty good pace to it, Rosie. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting to see that he elected to kind of let it go while he was deep in that barrel. Here we go. From the takeoff spot, Adriano de Souza just draws a beautiful line into this pit, grabs that rail, moving way up his board just to get that added momentum through the barrel. And he's going to kick out on this foamy closeout. Yeah. 21 and a half minutes to go. Amazing the footwork that Adriano does on his board when he's riding the barrel. Just wants to get far up on the nose of his board to control the speed. And then steps right back on his tail pad. Yeah, you know, it was a little unfortunate for Bino because the wave was absolutely perfect. And it just, I think that lack of experience out here, he came off the bottom. He tried to do kind of a, a, a no-handed rail turn up into the bowl and he just had to set the rail deep enough and the four basically went one way he went the other and he just back slapped into the bowl the thing was just rifling off kind of rifle off with no one inside here we go here's the replay of adriano's last wave this one came through at a five yeah just love the read you know the line that adriano draws on this wave so much speed linking those sections together the footwork that he does on his surfboard, his feet all over different parts of his board. He leans way forward to negotiate through these barrel sections, then gets that back foot back on the deck pad. Plenty of room in that scale. But the best guys out yeah. here, they really put themselves in a position where maybe they're not even going to make the wave. 
to get as deep as possible in the tube. Here goes Beno Lopez. Tucks in. And gets a little bit more cover here on the inside. But this wave is starting to get a little lumpy on the face. And as a result, it clamps up. Beno stuck inside. You can definitely see the difference between a competitor who's done their work in the lineup here at Cloudbreaker and someone who's taking it on for the first time. You know, just mentioning Owen Wright, having the confidence to go by that first section, but watch Bino, there's a couple of ribs up this face. He grabs that rail, puts that front foot in the water, that knee just is able to help him with his speed. Just tuck it into the wall, burn some of that speed and just sit in the barrel. That's what Bino was going for the perfect shape of this wave trying to slow down puts his butt right in the wall of that wave it camps down on him well just over 13 and a half minutes ago sets approaching something big standing up out the back but Kanoa's going to pull his priority out on this first wave he gets spat from the tube good wave selection from the youngster as he drives out onto the open face now he's got to get out of the way of this next thing and it's Bino taking a late drop and going down. A for effort. Yeah. But it is going to be a throwaway score. And there's a little bit of uh, lineup knowledge coming into play there from the youngster because we did hear earlier on today that Luke Egan had his charge, Courtney Conlog, oh, almost avoiding those first waves in the set. But Kanoa's going to pick up a reasonable number here. Here it is again, a thick insider. Yeah, that inside nugget just presenting itself just spewing all over the place, just spitting, Cano flying out, carving maneuver and just front row for Bino's wave. That water angle just gives you that perspective and just look at the contrasting colors, the hues of blue, out here at Cloud Break, it's such a beautiful spectacle. Here we go, Adriano having a look at this one, trying to get rid of a 4.33 to push a little further ahead of Kanoa deep in the barrel. He'll find the exit through that first section. A bit of fun to deal with here. Love that angle from up above, looking down on the Souza, just threading that wave. Hard to get an idea of just how big that wall was, but we'll see in a moment as Bino Lopez taps in, but he is way too deep on that ride. He's getting a good look at cloud break underwater. He's had some good vision though as we have a look at the replay of Adriano's ride from front on now. Yeah, you can see the way that he just uses his body to gain speed and just works through those two sections, grabbing the rail. And here we go, let's see the work that he does. Watch as he just bides his time and then grabs that rail, gets low, negotiates and stays high to make it out of that barrel. You can see it does get a little clampy, staying up top and high in the lip is pretty crucial if you're going to make it out of those ones. In order to beat him. But here we go, just on two minutes to go, De Souza working now. Has picked off a wave that he spots some potential on for turns. A beautiful swoop off the top to get started. Big old fan of spray. This one's going to break in half though and fade away before hitting the inside. And this is Kanoa now. Not chasing a big score, a 4.83, but needs to go large because this wave it isn't huge. Gliding through that backhand turn, a little sticky riding out of it, and he knows already. Wow. But with a start like that, he's going to be struggling to post that number. 25 seconds to go. Just unable to get busy on that last wave, only needing that 4.83. Another sturdy performance from one of our top seeds. And we'll see more end of the lineup in the next couple of heats. We've got Jordy Smith out there next. Can he deal with the pressure? Adriano de Souza winning that last heat.